Alright guys, so today's video is going to be a how-to video and I'm going to be showing you how to tie your own uh, pike fishing wire leaders or wire traces. Uh, it's good to know how to tie your own traces just because like people prefer different breaking strains or length or whatever so if you want an extra long trace you're probably not going to be able to pick it up in a shop so if you know how to tie your own you're going to be able to uh, make them yourself cheaply and easily. It only takes three or four minutes to tie one of these so I'm going to flip the view and show you what you need and how to do it. So what you're going to need for this is first thing obviously your uh, wire. This is uh, just nylon coated stainless steel uh, 60 pound breaking strain so plenty strong enough. Uh, you're going to need a little snap link and a swivel for both ends of it. Well, swivel on one end and then snap link on the other. You can use whichever type you like really, this is just what I prefer to use. Uh, and your crimps. You need uh, different size crimps for different um, thicknesses of wire, but usually when you buy your crimps it tells you what size, um, what thickness of wire you can use them with. Next to tools, all you need is some side snips or wire cutters, whatever you want to call them, and some crimpy pliers. So, basically to start off, put your length of wire, whatever you, you want it to be. Uh, I'd probably say pull about two centimeters more than what how long you want the trace to be. Because um, you can be folding the ends over to crimp it. Um, yeah, cut that to length and then get a couple of crimps out. You can pick them up. Slide, slide one onto the wire, like so. Get your um, swivel, slide that onto the wire and then pass the other end of the wire back through the crimp. There you go, I usually push probably about 3mm of ex extra through the end. Just don't know why really, it's just what I do. <laughs> and pull that, you don't want to pull it too tight, but you don't want a big loop either, so that's uh, probably as tight as you want to be pulling it. And you just get your crimping pliers. Put them over the crimp, line it up nicely, like so. Camera will focus. Then squeeze it, crimp it, and that's that side done. Then all I do is work that around there like that. Get your other end. Slide a crimp on that end as well. Then feed that end through there. Push that back through the crimp, same as the first one. Pull that tight as well. Or to however tight you want it to be. And then uh, just get your crimping pliers. Line it up and crimp. And that's your trace. Back fishing trace done. Nice and strong. You don't you don't need much more than that really, it's just a basic trace. If you run out on bank and you've got your your trace tools with you, it's, it's always good. Just you can whip one of these up in a couple of minutes and then you're sorted. So then if you want to make some more uh, finesse traces up you can use smaller snaps and swivels like these and also a, a thinner diameter of wire. This is 30 pound breaking strain which is, is plenty strong enough and it's uh, nice and thin as well. Obviously for this you're going to need some smaller crimps 
so like these ones say so 28 pound to 40 pound braking strain to be used with so that'll be perfect so you just get your get your little swivel out one of your crimps exactly the same method as I'd used with the uh, bigger trace this is just just a little bit more of a finesse trace slide that back through there exactly the same get your pliers line that up and grimp it And you just take a little snap link that you're going to be using for the other side. Slide. No. Slide your crimp on first. Don't forget about that. Then slide that onto the wire as well. Bend it over back through the crimp. Like so. Crimp that down. That's a short little finesse trace. A lot smaller, so it's not. If, you, if you're uh, fishing clear water, that'd probably be better. Nice, nice thin wire, small clips, and then if you're fishing, you know, big layers in there, uh, and you need. Need a bit of a, a stronger tray so you're not cracking them off. There you go, a nice strong one. So that's not been too boring. Uh, I do prefer to make fishing videos, but I haven't had a chance to get out and fish and I wanted to get a video up. So, um, yeah, I'm going to add a few fishing clips that I've not been able to use at the end of this. So, yeah, I hope it's been alright. Cheers. That's a decent fish. That's a big one, Alex. Just came up. Yeah, you prop, you proper need to grip them, don't you? <laughs> that was. Did you see it stomping in front of my feet? I hope that's not GoPro. It absolutely is. And I hope it's. I am.
Bovedel.